Hey guys, today we're going to answer the question, how much alcohol will influence not just your weight loss, but your ability to stay in ketosis. All right, so we have ethanol, pure alcohol, has seven calories per gram. Now, a carbohydrate has only four calories per gram, and that will block your weight loss, and that will block your ketosis. But this has more calories. But ethanol does not spike your insulin directly. And we know insulin is affected by carbohydrates, and insulin blocks weight loss. We also know that ethanol is not stored in the body like glucose is. So all the ethanol in the body has to be removed from enzymes made by your liver. So if we're just looking at this information, you may think that it doesn't affect your weight loss because it's not going to stimulate insulin and your body's just going to clean it up and you'll be fine. But here's the problem. Ethanol is highly oxidative, which means it creates a lot of stress in the liver. Uh, your body considers it a toxin. And so all that oxidative stress eventually causes inflammation and eventually can lead to cirrhosis, which is scar tissue and a fatty liver. Okay. And they actually have a condition a fatty liver condition, which is caused by alcohol. But here's the big thing. Ethanol blocks fat burning. It takes priority over the metabolism of fat. So if there's alcohol in your body, your body is going to stop burning the fat and it's going to focus on this danger situation and try to get rid of it through the use of enzymes. So all your metabolism is going to be focused on getting rid of that alcohol not burning fat. So depending on how much alcohol you drink, it can literally block fat burning for a day, two days, even three or four days. Most alcohol has added carbohydrates. Most people don't just drink pure ethanol. They drink beer, wine, um, other types of alcohol with, with a lot of sugar in it. Now, if you research the recommendation for drinking alcohol and all the benefits of drinking alcohol, uh, our government will tell you to drink two drinks per day if you're, if you're a man, uh, one drink a day if you're a woman, and they will tell you that you will actually benefit the cardiovascular system, right? Now, recently there's been a new recommendation based on another look at some of the studies that are already out there, and they found that the benefits from alcohol actually are not there. In fact, it will increase your risk of death. And this happens so many times with so many different products, they constantly switch the recommendations. Before the trans fats were good, now they're bad. Before sugar was good, now it's bad. And now they're telling us that alcohol is bad. Well, how did it even become good in the first place? But if you're interested in more information, I put a link down below, but you probably already know what I'm gonna talk about. And that is the influence of the alcohol industry over government research, okay? Now, when you see government research Okay, realize that it's not as independent as you might think. They usually partner with someone who is helping funding the research. Uh, and they actually partner with the actual industry uh, that's related to that research. The whole point of this video is just to let people know there's no health benefits from ethanol. So just don't be surprised if you don't experience the full benefits of ketosis. So if you're gonna drink, don't do it frequently. Don't be surprised if it slows down your progress. Do things to make up the damage. I have a video on that below. You can check it out. If we compare the alcohol with the added carbs, I would consume alcohol without the added carbs and you'd be much better, especially if you're not going to overdo it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So if you want to get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to subscribed.